Tucker Carlson uh, on Fox last night, right? He's, um, he's, he's, he's shaking his fist in anger at, at progressives for calling their um, president a Russian spy, right? That the, that the lunatic left that he's pointing to is, is actively uh, inciting a, a very dangerous trend, calling the president of the United States a traitor, a, uh, a guilty of treason for siding with, uh, with, uh, with Russians. <clears throat> I agree completely that it's totally insane, totally fictitious, totally fake story designed to destabilize uh, Trump's, you know, Trump's idea of to, to crush the, the big, big business, right? To shut it down, right? To, to slow it down so that it works on behalf of the people. Tucker Carlson and I, of course, would disagree with that. But the, here's the thing, right? Are we invisible in terms of who we are? I mean, I'm I'm not progressive, right? That see that there, there lies the problem that the message that people like myself are putting out, people like uh, you know H. A. Goodman, for example, or, or uh, oh, there's so many of them, right? There's so many uh, the same progressive, right? The, the voice of the voice of um, <laughs> it's almost impossible to explain these days, right? Uh, it's the voice of reason, where, where nobody is. Uh, progressive is a is a term that has been usurped by the right media, like Tucker Carlson, who's also wholly owned by you know corporations, right? Or does he not even know what progressive means? That there's this whole 40, 50 percent of the country, this undercurrent that is genuinely displeased with. American politics, so they lump it into um, progressive, right? It's the same for the right, right? Like, we can accidentally call everybody a Tea Party person, right? Like, because they're whatever that means. Because I never analyzed it, you know, to be honest. I never fully analyzed it. So, my point is that watch the Tucker Carlson thing, and he makes a good, he makes a good argument that the lunatic left, the, 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 the leadership, the corrupt Democratic Party leadership, is promoting this thing to their sheep, right? And it is dangerous, and it is offensive, and it is stupid, and it doesn't, it, it's, it's offensive to the people that they're duping to do it, right? But, but here's the thing. Are we invisible? The people like myself, and the people that watch this channel, and the people that watch other channels like this channel, that understand that, understand the corruption. I mean, there's, is there, there's tens of thousands of us on Facebook and across, you know, social media all over the place talking about this thing. Talking about <clears throat> that the corruption at the highest levels, the corporate corruption, the political corruption, right, is really is the problem, right? Right? It's not Russia, right? It's not fucking you know what I mean? So when I my takeaway with Tucker Carlson is when I watched it, I, I got the impression that that he's just playing politics, trying to draw people to the to the Republican Party, right? Because the opposition, when you call yourself progressive, like Bernie Sanders was a progressive in 2016, but the meaning of that term has changed dramatically. I know there's still people like Secular Talk and, you know, and, and the Young Turks are still talking as if progressive is a, is a thing that we desire to be. But no, that's a term that you have to, you have to let go of because it's being... It's being dragged through them. What are you progressive about? Progressive rock? Prog? I remember progressive rock was, you know, stupid, right? So progressive politics is also stupid at this point. So drop the term. My name is Marcus Conti. Watch the Tucker Carlson interview. Peace.